What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Team Builder. I got confused and I thought we were going to do a Wi-Fi battle, but we are not. Um, a couple things here. I did a Wi-Fi battle with this team before the Team Builder. So you guys are going to see some different moves on the battle as opposed to what you guys are going to be seeing today. Today is the final move set. However, we've done all the adjustments that we needed to do. The Wi-Fi battle that's going to be uploaded on Friday is absolutely gorgeous. You guys should go check it out. Well, you guys can't check it out now because it's not going to be uploaded until Monday or Friday. Monday, Friday, 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 because this is going to be uploaded on Monday. This today's Monday. Anyways, we are building around Gigantamax Kingler here who is holding a life orb. And yes, we are your boy Sheer Force here. Six IB Sheer Force Kingler. As you see on your screen, we are building a team full of quick balls. Now, within this Kingler here, we are running a Jolly Nature Kingler with 252 speed and 252 attack and throw the rest into defense. Um, Kingler tends to be a little bit frail. So this Kingler's purpose is going to be to set up and try to get a sweep going as fast as it could. We actually have a really cool team built around Kingler. I hope you guys are going to be, I, I hope you guys like this team because it's going to be one of the best, um, I, I feel it in here. I, I know I said that about the Copper G, uh, Copper G, Copper Ja team that it was going to be good. This team is going to be a lot better. We're going to try to get rid of a losing streak that we got going on here. So we got sword stance going on here, which is going to raise our attack stat by two stages. This Kingler is going to be really scary once we set up a sword stance. We got X scissor, high horsepower for coverage. Same thing with the X scissor and crab hammer, which is going to be the biggest and the most crucial move that Kingler can be running right now. And the biggest move that we can click on because number one, it's stab. It has a high critical hit ratio. So that's why we are running the crab hammer here um, as opposed to other moves like um, I think it gets liquidation. I'm, I don't recall, but Crab Hammer is the move to go to with this uh, particular um, Kingler here. The second Pokemon that we're going to be using is a Pokemon that I've been wanting to get so bad and quite funny. Uh, quite funny. I got a Masuda method, shiny grapple locked, but it didn't have technician. It had the other ability. I think it's inner focus or something like that. Um, so I had I as much as I wanted to use the shiny grapple locked, I was like, you know what? The Pokeball coordination is there. And number two, we got Technician, which is actually a really important ability when it comes to the Garoppolox. So we got 252 HP and 252 attack with an adamant nature here. And we are holding an Assault Vest. The reason being is because we want to try to uh, take some punishment and deal it out with Circle Throw here. And you guys probably already know what my team is going to look like moving forward after this Pokemon here. But we got Circle Throw, which is actually boosted from uh, by Technician number one. And number two, this move, you hit, you have a priority of minus four as the only drawback, but you hit and you switch your opposing your opposing Pokemon out, which can be a little bit useful sometimes. We got Ice Punch for coverage, Drain Punch for the longevity, given that Garapalock is not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. Um, our goal definitely is to try to make it as bulky as possible, and we try to make it stay on the field as long as possible, and that's why your Drain Punch is there. Brutal Swing is there because it gets powered by Technician and it's also there for coverage. Um, so yeah, this Graplocked, I'm 100% excited to, to use to be 100% honest with you guys. Third Pokemon in this team is a Pokemon that's highly underrated in my personal opinion, and that's going to be Shifri. Shifri is holding a Focus Sash here. We are running a Timid Nature Shifri with 252 attack and 252 speed with Chlorophyll. Just in case an opponent of mine wants to set up the sun or any shenanigans like that. Um, now, here's the cool part. We're running Nasty Plot, which is going to sharply raise our special attack. Dark Pulse and Leaf Storm and Heat Wave. This Shifri is intended to hit as hard as it can, especially after the Nasty Plot. Dark Pulse is probably going to be our primary stab attack. Leaf Storm is mostly going to be there, so we switch in. We hit the Leaf Storm and we get out of there before we set up the Nasty Plot. But Leaf Storm is the heaviest hitting attack that Shifri has. Um, so that's why we're running uh, Leaf Storm like we are today. Fourth Pokemon in this team is one of my personal favorites, Choice Bandit Arcanine. Now, I've used a defensive Arcanine before with a Rocky Helmet. It works absolutely godlike. Um, you guys should try it out if you haven't already. I would 100% recommend that moveset over this one, to be honest with you, because I'm more of a defensive uh, person. 
I feel like Choice Bandit Arcanine, as good as it can be, I don't think it's there as far as, um, I, I don't think it's there as far as power goes or usefulness, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I know every team composition is a little bit different, but I personally like Bulky Arcanine. Um, I have not tried Choice Bandit Arcanine enough to say, you know what, Bold is better or Impish Nature Arcanine, but I just got a feeling in here. and. Arcanine, the way I tend to use it is a bulky one, so I'm not going to be used to using a Choice Banded one. It's actually a learning curve that I have personally. So we're running Choice Band with 252 speed EVs and 252 attack EVs, and of course this is going to be a jolly nature. We got extreme speed for priority, of course, a very important move when it comes to the Arcanine. We got wild charge for coverage, close combat is there because one of the hardest, uh, hardest hitting attacks when it comes to the fighting type move. And then we got Flare Blitz, which is probably going to be our our stab attack, to be honest with you. And Flare Blitz is going to do a lot of damage, so I'm 100% um, excited to try that out. Um, you know what? I thought Extreme Speed had 100 base power. They might have nerfed it at one point, or I just didn't know. Um, that's really interesting. Now, the next Pokemon, one of my personal favorites, we got your boy Shiny Mamoswine. This is a Pokemon from the Alola region. It is a shiny Pokemon that I got from the, Masu the, the Masuda method. So we're running Choice Scarf here. Choice Scarf Mamoswine? Um, Mamoswine. Um, it was either Choice Banded this or Choice Banded that. And Choice Scarf this or Choice Scarf that. So I said Arcanine gets the stab or the priority attack. So does Mamoswine. But I said, you know what? Mamoswine's going to get with the, uh, with the Choice Scarf here. Um, I think it's a little bit more useful um, than the Choice Banded one because... We want our team to be fast. We learned our lesson from the last team builder. None of our Pokemon were really fast except for Sock and uh, the the uh, Flygon, and we got punished for it here. So this time around, as as you're paying, if you're paying attention, is speed, speed, attack, but speed. And um, I think that's the name of the game. I know this one is Adamant Nature, but the Choice Scarf is there to compensate it a little bit. So we got Stealth Rock. I know you guys are like, you know what? Stealth Rock with the Choice Scarf? What is wrong with you? Point is, I'm gonna go into my Mammoth Swine. Instead of Stealth Rock, switch out, and it's still gonna be useful for me. It's not gonna be, um, it's not necessarily gonna be held back with the Focus Sash because Stealth Rock is there because they're gonna think I'm focus sash or they're gonna think that I'm a defensive natured um, mammoth swine which I am not because I'm running earthquake stone edge and icicle crash with an adamant nature and a choice scarf this is gonna got this is gonna catch people off guard and that's what I'm 100% excited about now the final Pokemon in the team builder is going to be Orbeetle Orbeetle like clay and that's really our team there um and it's gonna be really good with with our boy Garapalock here. It's gonna be really cool with our with our boy Kingler here. Or Beetle's purpose, of course, with the light clay. You guys already know my play style is number one: set up the reflect, set up the light screen. I really wanted to set up the sticky web with him, but I didn't know it was an egg move, and I just don't want to rebreed my Or Beetle. To be one hundred percent honest with you, so we got Magic Coat instead to replace that, and we got Bug Buzz as our primary stab attack. We got 252 HP and 252 defense with a calm nature, which is a little bit contradicting to be honest. But we really did need a defensive wall because we don't got any walls in this in this team. Um, part of me does want to switch the nature of this Orbeetle into a bold nature rather than calm. But I think we're just gonna keep it like that for now, to be 100% honest with you. I think it'll it'll be okay. But there you have it. That's gonna be it for this team builder. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed it. I feel like this is going to be a pretty cool team. I'm really excited to use Pokemon like Orbeetle, Pokemon like your boy Garapalock, and Gigantamax Kingler, which is a Pokemon not a lot of people use. So make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below on any changes you guys would make on this team. Any changes, I'm open for it. Doesn't necessarily mean I'll apply all of them, but I am open to changes. I want to see what you guys would change if this was your team. Lastly, subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.